Hello everyone, I'm Japanese Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2. Now, right now, I am taking a good look at our national focuses, because right now, we're trying to get more craftsmen in this part of Japan, and that's okay. It's it's really just okay. It's, you know, Japanese Hokkaido, it's doing okay. We can probably wait a little bit longer to do this. I mean, it's only middle game. We're starting to approach late game relatively soon, but I'm just taking a look, because we have bureaucrats in Korea. A lot of bureaucrats. Bureaucrats in Formosa, which I do want to core eventually. Some in Kokin, China. Some in our part of Borneo, which is doing really, really well. Actually, I was clicking on this area earlier, and it looks like some of these people, like Asian Miner, that are assimilating to become Japanese, which is awesome. Really flippin' awesome. Three more for Japanese Asian Miners. One more to Japanese each month. The more Japanese people we can get in this area, the better. But, like I said, I do want to core... Statify, give these people states as fast as possible just because we can. That sounds like fun. Uh, last time we had a massive war, or maybe not a massive war, but a pretty large war against the United Kingdom. So that was quite interesting. Also, Morocco's here. Morocco's here. Interesting. Uh, I've been thinking, and I do want to take up more of China. We have a peace treaty with Guangxi until next year, 1894. So I tap over to Yunnan. They're allied with Siam. Tibet. But we could establish a protectorate if we're fast enough. I don't know if I'll actually be fast enough to do this, because you can just straight up annex all of Yunnan. It takes ten up to ten infamy, in which I'm not ready for that whatsoever. So uh, I can't build it really any more divisions up here, I think. Factory output. Also, there was a comment from yesterday as well I do want to address. Like someone asked, like, when you research stuff, and there's possible inventions that you can get. That seem to be random. I think I think they really are random. So, for example, if I wanted to research semi-automatization, automatization. I'm sorry, I can't speak right now. Actually, we should probably get that one next. Actually, but like once you research that, you have the potential to unlock these inventions, which is random. But the randomness increases for you to unlock it if you do other techs like have sequence planning, have distribution channels. So there's as you do more techs, research more stuff, unlock, invent. You get higher chances to unlock other stuff too, which is really cool. So, that is that. Uh, what was that army we had that was like only 27 stack, I think? You guys know? You guys are okay. 30. Uh, that's, that's a lot of guys. This, this is probably a little bit too big for my liking. Um, separate an infantry dude. Thank you. Come right there. Uh, come on, there we go. Unless you guys, have it right there. Yeah, you guys do that right there. Um, what am, I, am I building any more divisions, brigades? I mean, Hawaii. I want to build infantry thing in Hawaii just so that we can defend that area. Dingzu, Sendai. Where is Sendai? Sounds Japanese. So we're building up another army here, which is fine with me. I'm probably gonna leave this stack, which honestly is. Really, actually, not very balanced very well whatsoever. Let's throw out a horse as well. Oh, wait, why do I have cavalry? Huh, what am I doing here? I need another artillery piece. Guangxi, nope. Tax efficiency, very good. We need an engine. Now we have an engineer. So I just need one more piece of artillery here. I'll let you guys combine. Uh, make me one more piece of artillery. In Japan, there you go. I'm gonna actually pull one of these artillery pieces off here because everyone, everyone is set to come here anyway. So you come there, and this guy will be the leader, just in case we have rebels in Japan. Because uh, militancy, consciousness is getting kind of high. But let's do self a word because I can't speak right now for some reason. Cool. Let's see. So China's at war with. Guangxi, Burma, good stuff, you know, normal stuff. I'm still trying to make more ships as well. Tax efficiency, excellent, excellent, excellent. What do we have here? So we got four battleships, eight cruisers, 20 steam transports, which is really great. And then we have five cruisers right here, I believe. Nice. Intervene eventually in Tonkin, Moldavia, Moldavia. Mm, whatever, I don't really care. And I do have a couple of uh, good tea here. Good stuff. Green tea, I should say. Very good. Research is coming along. More tax efficiency, more navy organization. I love it, love it, love it. And another cruiser, great. 
This is all for my dreadnoughts when we make them. Money's looking pretty good. Can we lower something else maybe just for now so people have more money to spend so they can make themselves richer and be more comfortable in life? That'd be kind of good for our people. Let's see, you guys looking pretty good. I'm going to put you guys in Janin. I have no idea how to pronounce this stuff, so I'm just kind of assuming that's how you pronounce stuff. I need to get rid of this group. I need to make another set of transports, which we're doing already, sort of. Uh, I'm making more cruisers, which is cool. Making this army a little bigger as well. Really just waiting until we go to War of the Guangxi again. Or lowering our infamy to like 15. Maybe. Oh, baby, I don't really care. Trying to get more bureaucrats. Trying to improve our army. Uh, France? France. No, they're not allied with the Americans, which is fun. I'm allied with the Americans, which is what really matters. Um, I'm going to say... Oh, I don't want them to fight the Germans. I will go with the Germans, just because I need them to kill off Bavaria. But they're still a great power, which isn't good. Oh, they're rank 9. They might not become a great power. So I'm going to say... Ooh, if they go to war with each other, I'm going to have to break an alliance, and that's going to cost me prestige. You know what? That's going to cost everyone prestige. Just, if everyone has gridlock and doesn't know who's really on whose side, I think that's okay. And I don't want to get involved in European affairs. At least not too much. Just enough for me to kill everyone and take their lands. That's all I care about. But Italy. I mean, this is a pretty strong alliance. North German Federation, me, Italy, Switzerland, I guess. Uh, lower the militancy of everyone. That'd be good right now. That'd be very good. Guangxi, you are war still with China. How is that war going? Because if they break, like, uh, Chinese restoration, what do they mean? They're, oh, they want to annex. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, it's not a bad idea. That just means we can take more from China then. But China's going to be a problem since they're a Western nation, which is not very good. They're liberals. Huh. But they're anti military. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, let's get the assembly line. Fordism. Nice. Industrialized armament industry. Oh, my goodness. Refrigerators. I love the refrigerators. Someone, let's refrigerate some stuff. Ma of course, lady, lazy natives need to adapt. Why wouldn't they? Along with Japan. Oh, this must be another island. So this is P-O-N. Ponape. Yep, I knew it. Another island. Great. Hey, we can build forts here. That's mostly Japanese with a little bit of Micronesian. Uh, that's unfortunate. Another guy has passed along. Oh, were we... Hmm. 33? 9? Awesome. Membership in the International Olympic Committee, the combination of renewed interest in ancient Greek civilization and the idea of sports as an important part of social development, has led a French aristocrat, Baron Pierre de Colbertin, to propose reviving the Olympic Games as a way to promote international peace through friendly athletic competition between nations. Should a nation join his international and Olympic committee to organize the first games? Not at this time. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. And that's exactly why I put this guy here. Reactionaries. We, we aren't... Honestly, we're not that liberal here. We haven't, like, done almost any reforms, period. Like, we have appointed upper house. We have a Jefferson method for voting system. We've got trucks as you know, a core. We don't even let people vote. We're not that... Reformists. We have trinket healthcare. Um, so, oh, oh, that's not good. Here, uh, you do that. Here you go. Uh, do we have any more? Uh, hello, China. Hello, what are you doing in my lands? Who will intervene eventually? Yeah, in the Chinese area. That'd be good. Oh, look, forts. I am feeling so good about the money right now. So good, but I want more. I need more population. That's the thing I should have realized early game, which, you know, makes sense. Always going to need more population to make more stuff. Make more people. Oh, are you getting immigrants? Uh, probably from Japan. Actually, what's the immigration like? I haven't checked it at all since I'm not playing an immigrant-hungry nation. Uh, where is immigration? Oh, migrations. There it is. So we're losing people. We are losing 1,000, 1,100 people to the U.S., Brazil, Canada. China's losing 8,000 people. Mongolia's lost 1,500. Russia's losing 2,000 people. Everyone in Europe is losing people, for the most part. Yeah. Except, people love it in Belgium, and... S no? No? Just Belgium. Yeah? Just Belgium. Nice, we got Midway Island as a Japanese core. Lovely. 
tax efficiency has gone up a little bit higher. Great. No, Burma. No. We'd love to core this area. Core. I'm always going to say core. State of I. Intervene eventually, Tahiti. Whatever. Alright, so how is this coming along? Maybe a few more ships, perhaps? This is going to be a good old fleet here. Oh, let's make sure we're at peace with other people. <gasps> Austria is a great power again. Uh, sure. Wait. German Federation. Now they need to get... Bav Bavaria is no longer a great power. Very good. Well, we'll do that. Um, so, we might see Germany at the end of this episode, which would be really, really cool. I want to get assembly line, and let's double check. Can I make any more people here? Yes. So, we need a cavalry if we're not having one already. So, we have... Yeah, I'm not even sure what the hell I'm doing with this. So, I got two engineers. Going to make one infantry and one horse. Nice. Look at that. Three recon. That's nice. Oh, I don't want to do that one. We need Japanese. There you go. Oh, Okinawa. Um, we need to put you guys down here then. Nice. Even more factory throughput. Steel alloys. That's okay. Introspection. Uh, let's do this stuff. That'd probably be good. Belgium goes bankrupt. Well, I guess people are probably going to leave that country now. Good. Let them... Come alive, someone died. Cool. So, you not. I really don't want to go to war until we're really ready yet, though. So they're allied with Tibet and Siam, which means I'm going to need more armies down here to deal with these guys. Put you guys, like, right there. Put you guys, like, right there. I need more than just 60,000 men who are also Vietnamese nationalists. Supply range, that's good. High seas battle fleet, heck yeah. I could probably take these guys out as well. Let's see, are you done? One of these division, this brigade gonna be made. Uh, we can use you right now. Let's send these guys down south. To AP. Factory cost goes up. That's not good. Deploy him there. Serbia's gone bankrupt. Good. Well, well, not good for the Serbs. It is what it is. I guess get back up. Come up here. Oh, more oil production. I love it. I love the oil. Come on. Keep making more guys. More factory output. Tensions and Makran. Gain one infamy influence. Oh, I'd rather... I don't want any more infamy. We really can't afford more infamy. Tensions in Algeria. What the heck? Influence? I just lost 10 prestige. For garbage. Come on, man. That's not cool. Mm, but tea's pretty good. Tea is pretty darn good. Alright, let's put you on the boat. Oh. Oh, the wrong island. And then... Lazy need to, need to learn to adapt. Oh, that's... Poland. Uh, come over... Here. And we'll deploy him right there. Alright, so what's going on? Anti-Colonial League. Denounce the League? Uh... So... This is Anti-Colonial League... Formed by Japanese radicals. They don't want colonies. Oh, yeah. Hell no. I'm okay since no one else has supported people here. Nope. No one cares about the Poles. Alright, you guys come down here. Good, good, good. Alright, so we're making these guys. We have 30,000. That's still not very good. I need another two artillery pieces here. Oh, what are you guys taking so long for? Explosives. So we need some more explosives, huh? Where is the explosives? There you are. Oops. Looks like prices is kind of hit dirt bottom. Do that. Buy as much as you need. Um, how many more guys can I make here in Japan? So we have this. We need. We got those two. So it'll be six and six. Five one six, which is good. I'm gonna keep making more though. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. They're all going to come there, so which means I'm, I'm going to leave that as an army group to stay at home. You guys come over here. 
Have a great time. I'm shipping you off to China. Or really down here. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for your service. We should up an expedition to the pole. I forget, was it the North or South Pole that it said? We got any more ships? No, we're not. Interesting. We got plenty of other ships here. Oh, and Baida. That's right, Baida. By the way, Badia, probably is more pronounced like that. Yeah, you guys come there. There's six cruisers there. There's ten cruisers here. I'm going to start building up some thingies. Recruitment. I definitely want 20 more steamers. All right, steam transports. I hope everyone comes here. They they should all come here. Should. Cool. More output. Great. I love it. Let's go ahead and start justifying on Yunnan. They're partially Western. Oh, we need to decrease relations. Since we're justifying, we shouldn't be able to get discovered too quickly. Oh, this is a big risk. As long as we get less than 10. LSR 9, less than 9. So we're already at 12%. We should be okay. At this point, we should be good. Alright, I'm feeling good now with this. Whew. A sort of position gain infamy. Oh, no, 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 no. I'd rather lose procedure right now. I can't afford more infamy. 77, 76. Just don't get caught. Don't get caught. You know, it's like, you know, it's like with drugs. Just don't get caught. Don't get caught. Oh, man, it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to death stack into here. The supplies just garbage. You know what? I'm gonna send you guys here. I'm gonna send you guys. Hmm. <sighs> supply. I need to increase my supply around here. Okay, we've been discovered. That's okay. Gilbert Islands. These guys kind of hang out. Oh crap! Can I afford a war with Austria right now? Well, it's, they're with Germany. And yeah, yeah, we can. I don't want to ruin my alliances, so yes. I could my navy there. I don't have to do anything. I mean, with the Germans, so the Germans versus with Italy and the Swiss Germans and me, which I'm not going to do anything. I have a good feeling that Austria is not really going to last, and they might insert hegemony. Germany might look. Just look at Germany. Just look at it go. Look at Italy. Oh, this is, this is disgusting. The problem with this though is that Bavaria might become a great power again if Austria dies. Or, you know, gets knocked out of great power status. Hmm. Gotta love my green tea. Great. Oh, look at that. More factory throughput techs. Machine tools. I love it. We get better naval bases. We get... We can annex all of you not if we get a high enough war score. Nice. Let's go do this again. Naval... Naval... This, uh, that, this is okay. Range factors, more attack, less attack for steam transports. I mean, this stuff is good. It just doesn't seem like, oh, more attack for everyone. Yeah, it's good to do, but I'm feeling this stuff or something here. You know, commerce, we get more money if we really need it. Factory output. Let's get some input. Oh, yeah, let's get some Karl Marx. How about that? Or Friedrich Engels. Oh, and what can we do? Oh, we can build the Suez Canal. That's what we needed to do, so... One of the long-standing problems for shipping on the Far Eastern in India trades has always been the need to round the African Trape Cape in order to actually get there. By establishing a canal through the Suez, we will shorten the journey to Asia by days, as well as perform a wonderful feat of modern engineering. We immediately build it and get prestige. Japanese engineering is some of the best in the world, my friends. The best in the world. Oh, look. More ports. Oh, goodness. Now, give me just like about a minute or seven for me to build up these ports to be, be even better. And do we have a war goal against China yet? Oh, we do. Uh, so we have to go to war by November, which is fine. By November, we need to go to war, which is a very good reminder for us. By November. I'm going to forget that's going to be November and let it go by. Now, they westernize. Can they westernize while they're at war? Would that, ruin my, that might just ruin my justification on them. Uh, West November, November. I gotta keep repeating that in my head so I don't forget it. November. November. Good, good, good. Build up forts. We have enough money that I feel pretty good about this right now. Forts. 
reduce or increase the time that enemies try to take it over if we find ourselves in a war regarding those spaces. So that's why I always like using forts, even though it eats up a ton of steel and costs quite a bit of money. I always like using them. Always. Uh, that looks pretty good for now. Anywhere else in these islands? Hawaii could use it, because it's a, still a core state, which is awesome. Uh, there's another island we can core down here. Just colonize. Yeah, we're out of range. We need just a little bit more range. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and that place. Cool. So, November. What was that? Manifesto on Unshakable Autocracy, published by Tsar Alexander III. That does not sound good. Oh, we've, we've assumed leadership of the war against Austria. Great. Oh, and China won against Guangxi. That's disgusting. That's really disgusting. So, November. Oh, boy. The French... I kind of knew this would happen eventually. Oh, that's a great war. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we have to go to war. Oh, my God. Now, this is this is, this is is the real stuff. All right. We can't go to war with China now. God dang it. Uh... Oh, wait. Hold on. No, wait. We're not involved. You know, if we're not involved, that's good stuff. Can I intervene? I have an alliance with... I can break my alliance with France. Ah. Acquire suit throw. You know what? I'm going to... Actually, is Austria in this war as well? They're not because they're currently in the other war. Let's piece them out right now so that the Germans and Italians can focus on France and Russia. That'll be good. Just get them out right now. I don't have to join the war. Because there will be other great wars. It's 1896. We're not even in the 20th century. And there's a great war already. I still can't join, though. Oh, I need to dissolve my lines with them. Yes. And I can join the war over here. If I really wanted to. Oh, do I want to? Oh, they might need some help. Oh, I'm not poised to go to... Actually... The British aren't even in this side, so it's France, Russia, the Netherlands. We could take off portions of China here if we wanted to go to war. We could take out Borneo, which is what I really want. But when's the next time I'm going to get be able to really take out all of Yunnan? That's a ton of population that I need, so I'm not going to go join the war. I'm going to go do my own thing. Screw that. Sorry, Germany. Sorry, guys. No Russia. No. I mean, that would divert a lot of Russian soldiers away. If they're not going to win, if the Germans are losing, I might just join. Nope. They're mobilizing. Oh, oh boy. Oh, look at that. They can acquire things for so cheap. I can't even take stuff yet. Oh, they're winning so far. Oh, hold on. Hold on. The Germans are coming back. Oh, the Belgians are in the war. I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, my God. Look at Germany go. Oh, they're taking out... The Russians are taking out a little bit of these guys. Oh, man. That is... That is something. Not gonna lie. That is something. Oh, that's not good. If they can piece out the Russians first, that'd be good for them. You know, we'll ally with anyone who's doing stuff over there. Let's go ahead and raise our conscription level. Or, not conscription level. I play way too much white for. Uh, supply level. Uh, Naval Design Bureaus. Sorry, allies. Uh, let's do like a, a little more peacefulness. That's good. It's a good thing I made them peace out with the Austrians. Oof. Because Russia, they're going to get whacked hard. Even the Germans are doing pretty darn well. They don't, don't think they even need our help. This is... Oh, are we not... Oh, we're not at, in the same war, but we can kind of still see what's going on. The Germans... Italy has just flooded. Oh, France is going to get destroyed, probably. Oh, we, let's just hope so. Oh, come on. Come on. I, I moved my guys out of here just so that... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. We got time. I want to see what's going on over here. Oh, look at Russia. Look at Russia. That's just... Oh, they, do they have rebels? No, that's, that's Dane. The Danes. 
Oh my goodness. Good. good, good. As soon as this goes back, because I'm going to need every available guy here. And you guys are heading down over here. November, November, November. Yeah, Russia is not going to be able to do very much. Nice, more supply range. Naval logistics. And what is the UK doing? They're out of Russia. They're not in the war, though. Oh, look, Japanese Borneo. We did it. So let's remove that. They're now a state, which is awesome. Can we actually assimilate more people now? Oh, we can assimilate all these Asian, some of these Asian minor people. That's cool. So we're done with Japanese Borneo. We want to maybe be able to do more, perhaps? Let me see. That area good. This area good. Oh, get a port. I want more bureaucrats in Korea, too, as well. Let's throw some bureaucrats to Yemen. Because we can. And we don't need Japanese Borneo. Wait, hold on. Remove. There you go. Cool. And are we ready to go? Sydney Webb. Cool. Whoever that guy is, let's go to war immediately. Establish protected. I want all of you. Can I call my allies in? Let's see. Everyone will accept except Manchuria. Oh my god. Look at that war score. Look at that. Go ahead and do that. Oh, Australia refused to... They, they join. I forgot. Australia is our puppet. Look. Oh my god. What is Germany demanding? Great War Capitulations. Acquire Gelderland from the Netherlands. Demand con dismantle constructions in the Netherlands. Acquire part of Poland. More Poland. Acquire Piedmont. And cut France down to size. Oh my god. With even fewer divisions or armies. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Alright, let's go in. So we're fighting Yunnan and Tibet. Italy's joined. America. America. Mm, I love it. Cool, let's pull you out as well. It looks like we're not at war with Siam, which is great. They were smart enough wanting to go to war with us. So we're gonna pull you armies up as well. Beautiful. Let's go straight for Dali. And the war score is what? 2.6. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing that just for now. It's good to have them under us. Partially westernized, you none. War score, 2%, like milk. Go ahead and try to siege that down for now. We're going to take Dali next, if we can move there fast enough. Oh, we just killed so many people. Nice. That's a lot of guys. They're, they're really starting to death stack here. Supply now is 36, so I don't want to ruin that. What are they, these guys doing? Oh, they're leaving. Alright, guys. If we can get them, smash them as hard as we possibly can. Oh, yeah. That's that's nice. Alright, so I'm going to grab you guys. You guys come here. And then you guys come here. See what happens. Cool. Cool. Now we're spread ourselves out a little bit more, which is never ideal. That's okay. Good, you're doing well right there. Kuming. You guys come back. Let's kill it. get that. Permanent prestige. More output. 28% uh, of the way there. Oh, look at that. Nice. Good. Amazing. Uh, you guys come up that way. I'm going to send you guys this way as well. Anshun. Are they sieging down any place? No? Good. I'm going to move. I'm going to keep you guys down in the port just in case things might go bad down there. Just casually taking out Asia. Portions of Asia. And just in case they want to reinforce this area, I'm going to throw in more armies. Oh, 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 oh boy. Uh, I want to keep that, but this is massive. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers are being thrown into this battle. What's going on here? I need to watch this. All right, so... Point four. Oh, here we go. So they have... We have some debuffs. They have 132,000 infantry. Oh, let's get some more health care. We're winning. They're losing 3,000 men a day. Oh my god, we are just murdering them. Just butchering the Chinese here. Oh my goodness. Let's get some more production of coal. 
even with debuffs, and they have they have great rolls, great dice rolls. They're losing thousands. I'm losing hundreds a day, but they're losing thousands, eight thousand a man. Oh my god! Oh, 45 war score. We just killed over 200,000 Chinese people. I'm sorry if you're Chinese, but holy cow, we only lost 25,000. Oh my god, that's nuts. Holy cow, we're at 60 war score only though. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so insane. I lied. I'm going to make you guys move. I want you guys to come over here. This is like the leading army. We're second in the world for uh, military again. Love it. Cool. You guys come up there. Uh, that's not bad. You guys come that way. Uh, let's see. Oh, you guys can come down here. Do that. And come up to Long Gun. Crush them. You guys did well. And where are these guys going? Are they attacking me? Um, cool. Now they want to come back down here. That's fine with me. That's fine. Oh, we got a little bit more points. The Great War's over. World War One is done. Oh, I'm kind of scared to look at what's going to happen now. I'm a little... Germany is here. Look at that. They are liberal Germany. Oh, what happened to the monarchy, man? Increase relations is always good to do that. Oh god, what's going on over here? Oh man, that's a thick Germany. Holy cow. They got basically all of Poland, except for, you know, Austrian parts. They took a little bit of the Netherlands as well. Oh, I'm no longer allied with you guys. Ooh, I need to make an alliance with them. Oh, they have Alsace Lorraine. Oh my goodness. That is. They didn't even get. Oh, Italy wanted Piedmont. They didn't even get it. Germany was so selfish. They didn't even get that part. Oh my god. God. Oh, oh goodness gracious, that's insane. That's n that's a big Germany. Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. Oh, and S Spain is France is fighting the UK and Spain. Oh, good luck, guys. Good luck. While I'm having my adventures in China. All right, cool. So where are we at? Go ahead and kill those guys off. Nope. We have rebels in Persia, which isn't ideal. Also, they cut Gwyrland, dismantle things in Friesland. Three times great war capitulations. Jesus. No, how would you just kill, kill those guys off? It's easier just to kill off your enemies than, you know, ask for peace. Or, you know, siege stuff down. Oh, Kuming is ours. I don't know if that's how you actually pronounce it. That's what I'm going to suppose. Cool, they're dying. A 60,000 man stack is just so good. Kill him off. Oh, you guys are already... Oh, you guys are moving. That's good. And that battle is done. Killed 19,000 men off. Just absolutely brutal. To bet you none. We're at 85. We need it just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I will send you guys up here. Chengdu. Long gone, and you guys are starting to get Tibet. Great. Yeah, Germany. Oh, hell yes. Oh, yeah. I, I gotta keep that alliance. Ooh, oil. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're trying to siege us down. Well, that's alright. Let them try. Jingzu. Thank you. Tibet. No. Oh, actually, the Ottoman Empire, huh? Oh, we're super close. Can we just annex him now? Come on, man. I get all of basically China. This section of China. Enforce Japanese curricula? Never mind. Uh, yeah. Simulation rate, please. Thank you. Oh, wait. You're going down here. God dang it. Whoops. Just need a few more points. That's all we need. I called them my allies, but they're not showing up. Then again, I don't think they want to go into the interior of China. It's probably not a great place to be. I'm going to go ahead and send you guys this way. Uh, take their capital out if we can. You're doing well. Come on. Ah, there we go. Now that's... That's nice Japan. Look, that's beautiful. Holy cow. That is awesome. But you know what? That sounds like a great place to end today's episode. What has happened in the world? Well, we had the first Great War, which I decided to not deal with because we've got a massive chunk of China. Which means the Chinese, if the proper China, if they think that I'm weak enough, they might go to war with us in which we might be able to take more stuff off of them. Or break them even more. But anyways, guys, 
this was one heck of an interesting episode since it's not even 1900 yet, but Germany is absolutely the most dominant power in Europe. We are pretty much the most dominant power in Asia, maybe except for Russia, and we still have Australia with us. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, as hopefully we'll break into the 20th century. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day.